Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video we are back taking a look at some more awesome spice in Pokemon Go Battle League. In today's video we are taking a look at Shiny Miss Magius in the Ultra League Premier Cup. And these battles were submitted by a member of the community, so definitely thank you for the battle submission. And they included a note mentioning that they hit Battle Legend this season using a Swampert and Typhlosion core, but they decided to switch out their safe swap for Miss Magius to try and have some fun. So without further ado, let's hop into these battles and check out Miss Magius in the Ultra League Premier Cup. Hopping into the first match here, picking up an amazing lead into an Ampharos. Swampert absolutely crushes Ampharos. They have Venusaur and we're off to a great start here. Fortunately, Typhlosion can tank a Sludge Bomb just fine, so my guess is we're probably going to see one additional Incinerate here. Oh, actually going for two! So, able to stack these Blast Burns very nicely done, and able to pressure a shield. Unfortunately, the... Ooh, yeah, the, the Venusaur does get to a move there, which is less than ideal. Is gonna have to throw here, because unfortunately, it would get outpaced before it got to the second Blast Burn. But, the good news is, able to take it out. Talonflame comes in, and... This match is looking pretty winnable, to be honest. Swampert is looking very, very strong here against his remaining Pokemon, so he is going to bring in Miss Magius, basically just to eat a Brave Bird. Oh, it's a Flame Charge, and Miss Magius survives. And now going for the Shadow Ball. Let's see how much this does. I am very curious. It takes them out, which is great. Ampharos is going to get hit with the Shadow Ball. Let's see how much this does as well. I am excited. Oh, oh no. That did a lot. Yikes. <laughs> oh, sucks to be that Ampharos calls the Thunder Punch bait and the opponent immediately quits the match. I can't say I blame them there. All right, hopping to the next match against Stop Alcatraz. Pick it up another really solid lead. And the opponent save swaps into Gyarados. Unfortunately, with this team, he doesn't have a good response to a Dragon Breath Gyarados safe swap. So he is going to let the Aqua Tail through and probably going to try and get some chip damage here. Because the good news is, is he does have Typhlosion in the back, which still does have a very nice matchup. Now he's coming into Miss Magius and definitely wanting to shield up the Crunch. Crunch would hurt quite a bit. Building up some extra energy and now going straight for the Shadow Ball. Let's see how much this does to a Gyarados. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Miss Magius out here absolutely clapping people. All right, another Shadow Ball. Miss Magius is going on a rampage right now. <laughs> Stop it. Miss Magius, this trainer has a family. <laughs> oh, and it's a mirror shot. Oh no, he gets to another Shadow Ball. Say it ain't so, Miss Magius. Say it ain't so. And Typhlosion is going to absolutely burn through this poor Alakazam. This is probably what, just a fire punch bait? Oh, they actually go for the nuke there with the Shadow Ball. But good news is, is Typhlosion does get to these Blast Burns insanely quickly. And is going to, and was just about to get to the Blast Burn. And then the opponent surrendered the match. All right, hopping to the next match here. Swamp Burn into Shadow Machamp. This is an okay lead, but... Ideally, you want to try and get extra fast moves through. The opposing Machamp is not throwing, so if he can get off two and then bail into Miss Magius, he's in a pretty good spot here, which it looks like he's able to do. That is absolutely huge. And now he bails into the Miss Magius. Very, very nicely done. Oh, and it's a cross chop. That's going to do absolutely nothing. Oh, no, it's Snorlax. This is, uh, this is absolute disaster scenes for our friend Miss Magius here. Going for the Dazzling Gleam, and that does a nice amount of damage. That's not Shadow Bonnet levels of damage, but that's a nice amount of damage. That's solid, that's solid. And definitely coming in with the Swampert, I would imagine just to absorb the energy, then two shield Typhlosion. Ooh, actually d uh, electing to shield the Swampert. And we'll let the second one go, and now you just go into Typhlosion. Oh, this Snorlax had so much energy from licking down the Miss Magius, which is unfortunate. And Body Slam hurts. Ooh, and it's a Dragon Breath Charizard. So this is, this is looking like a GG's, unfortunately. 
Normally, having two shields endgame is very, very nice, but unfortunately, switch advantage ends up being a factor that was needed to win this game. So unfortunately, not quite going to be able to pull off game number three. Snorlax is a very hard punish to Miss Magius, unfortunately. Because Shadow Machamp can come back in, and Shadow Machamp has that loaded cross chop. Yep, so a good game there. Unfortunately, dropping game number three. Hopping into game number four against a, another battle legend. Picking up a horrible lead in regular victory bell. Gonna say swap into Miss Magius and baiting out a Galarian Stunfisk. Shields up. Ooh, it's the Earthquake. Very, very good shield there. Earthquake would have done a ton of damage. Now going for the Shadow Ball and gets the shield. Over farming by just a bit. I like this because the opponent is probably unfamiliar with the Miss Magius count, so if you can confuse them, you may be able to do well here. Able to get both shields, which is fantastic, and just letting this go. I do like that quite a bit. Unfortunately, ooh, it gets to the Shadow Ball. I thought it was gonna get farmed down first. Nicely done, Miss Magius, let's go. All right, now you definitely come back in Swampert. And I would imagine you just let this go because at this point you've recognized that your Swampert is basically useless with that Victory Bell out there. And before they can get to Rock Slide, they're just going to go for the Hydro Cannon and then instantly bail into Typhlosion. Typhlosion comes in. Oh no! The whole rest of their team is weak to Typhlosion. Typhlosion's just going to burn it all down. Oh, big blast burn. This is going to be killing Excadrill and Excadrill's ancestors and Victory Belges leaves. GG. So the uh, Miss Maggie safe swap was able to bait out their only fire type counter and Typhlosion able to burn it down in the back. All right. Hopping to the next match here. And as you can see, up against a Shadow Snorlax. It's good to see this here because you really cannot afford to have this up against the Miss Magius. All right, body slam, and now he's going to come into Typhlosion, which makes quite a bit of sense. And Typhlosion's in a good spot where body slam really, really hurts, to be honest, but can go for the blast burn, and this is going to be doing more than enough to Shadow Snorlax. Yep, and they do elect to let it go. I'm curious to see what they do decide to come in with. They come in with a Talonflame. That makes quite a bit of sense because at least Talonflame is going to be resisting the Blast Burns and they can probably commit to an Incinerate Farm Down and leave with a ton of energy. Able to get to another Blast Burn. This is big. This can probably threaten a shield, I would imagine. And we do get the shield there, which is great. Unfortunately, Talonflame is so loaded right now, but Swampert has, has a shield advantage, so that helps. They do go for the Brave Bird. They switch out. And it's Shadow Machamp onto Miss Magius. And this is where Miss Magius wants to be. They're forced to rock slide. Miss Magius, look at it tanking a rock slide like it's nothing. Let's go. And now going for the Shadow Ball. Big Shadow Ball. Oh, that does a nice amount of damage. Able to go for the Shadow Ball against the Talonflame. Does get the shield and now just has to get to the Hydro Cannon here. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Oh, they go for the Brave Bird, and a win con has been realized. Let's go. Absolutely huge. Very, very well played there. A tough game, but able to get the win. All right, hopping into the next match here, this time against an expert, but a former legend picking up an amazing lead here in Charizard, of course. Obama Snow. Burn it down with Typhlosion. Let's go. And as opposed to counter swapping with something like a Talonflame that takes neutral. Typhlosion, of course, is going to be resisting all charge moves from Obama Snow. So you're in a really good spot where you can just fully farm down and then you're absolutely loaded. And there's not a lot that really wants to see a loaded Typhlosion because even if you re resist the Blast Burns, they still hit so hard. Big Blast Burn on Charizard. Right, look at that. That's doing some solid resisted damage going for another Blast Burn. Just absolutely unloading swampert comes in and there's a polytoad and at this point miss magius is in a really good position to close end game basically you can just go straight earthquake here oh just kidding uh going for the bait i see <laughs> unfortunately the polytoad does not shield which is surprising you would imagine the polytoad would shield here considering their zard doesn't have a lot of play left 
and going for another hydro cannon bait i would imagine this will probably get a shield though yep that that does and now they're going for another hydro cannon because the opponent would have beaten them to a weather ball before they got to their all right charizard comes back in and miss magius comes in and the opponent concedes the match let's go miss magius team gaining some momentum you love to see it all right lapras this is not the best lead ever so safe swap into miss magius and baits out a shadow machamp this is actually an okay matchup here like this is not horrible rock slide hurts so much though my guess is we're probably going to see the shadow machamp double shield and then just commit to the counter down all right second shadow ball coming through and we're undoubtedly going to see the second shield because when you're already down shields in an attempt to gain switch you may as well go down two because being down shields and switch is almost always a death sentence you can let the cross chop through that's just fine unfortunately another cross chop do you let this go oh, actually deciding to shield it up interesting call there So they will be able to have at least a one shield advantage towards the end game. We know that Lapras is in back there. Lapras comes back. Oh, and it's a Gengar. Oh no, Gengar. <laughs> this is just a shadow punch. So great no shield there. And can over farm by just a little bit. Go for the blast burn on the Gengar and then go for the solar beam on the Lapras. So there's a very clear win con in this match. And at this point, yeah, the resisted ice charges aren't going to do enough. You shield up the Surf, and then you can just get to the Solar Beam, which, thanks to Typhlosion, not having a terrible attack stat, is going to be more than enough to take out the Lapras. Ooh, beautiful. Good game. So, the Miss Magia safe swap there wasn't able to win switchback, but was able to get a two-shield advantage that allowed the Typhlosion to close endgame. Ooh, great lead here, so long as they don't have Energy Ball. They are staying in, which is very interesting. They try and catch. Politoed comes in. I like this, just go for the Earthquake, so that way you can get some solid chip damage, and that way Miss Magius can handle this Politoed, no problem. Weather Balls, let's see how much this does to Miss Magius. Oh, they do go for the Earthquake. Alrighty then. <laughs> I mean, Earthquake does more damage overall, but Weather Ball is definitely more efficient. And they're able to take him out with the Shadow Ball. And they come back in with the Galvantula. Trying to commit to the farm down. They are going to have to eat a Shadow Ball. So we're probably going to see a shield come up here, I would imagine. Yep, because Galantula is very attack weighted. So it does not like taking hits. This point is basically dealer's choice. I like coming into Swampert here because you're forcing them to throw Lunge, which is their worst move in terms of damage per energy. Oh, unfortunately over farm there. Cost him because he ended up losing a CMP and has to shield, which is less than ideal. But... Even a double debuff Hydro Cannon is still a Hydro Cannon, so it's going to do a solid chunk. Coming in with the Typhlosion, burning it down. What do they have in back? They have a Skarmory. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And gets the Incinerate through. Oh. I don't know if y'all are hungry, but we have some absolutely prime cooked bird happening in like one second. Here we go. Oh, seared to perfection. Skarmory. <laughs> let's go all right hopping into the next match here against another expert so doing a little bit of gatekeeping here Ooh, jellicent this is okay at least you have the earthquake with earthquake this isn't as bad but oh man if he had sludge wave this would be a complete disaster of a matchup oh has to eat a shadow ball and now going for the earthquake shadow ball does a ton of damage but at least this is a non-debuffed earthquake which is nice and now just going for the Hydro Cannon. He is going to get outpaced to the Earthquake. So going for the Hydro Cannon, getting that chip damage makes quite a bit of sense. Now the opponent throws. Ooh, he's going for Switch here. So he's going to try and commit a shield. Ooh, Bubble Beam. Try and farm down. Oh, cannot farm down. So he's going to over farm and then go for the Hydro Cannon. And able to take Switch. Very nicely done there. And oh, the opponent has an Umbreon in the back. And now switches into a Typhlosion to catch. Ooh, this is tough. Really hoping the Umbreon stays in here. The Umbreon is staying in. Okay, this is big. He made a gamble here. 
hoping they would stay in and they're staying in and even if they switch out now the switch clocks are off kilter enough where you can hopefully take advantage of that going for another blast burn unfortunately does let us snarl through but it should be able to do a nice amount of damage or get a shield so got a shield which is great Ooh, i thought for a second there they were committing to the snarl down but they ended up giving up that pursuit Waiting out the clock here. I very much like that. It, does he come in with Swampert here and, tr and get and throw the moves? Yep, does come in with the Swampert. That makes quite a bit of sense. Opponent does not shield. Interesting. I would have expected a shield there, to be honest. Takes them out. What do they have in the back? Ooh, Miss Magius into an Alolan Ninetales. This will be interesting. Weather Ball doesn't do a whole lot. As you can see, it is the Powder Snow variant. So it is going to get to charge moves a lot faster, but it applies a lot less fast move pressure than the Charm variant. Oh, a Powder Snow goes through. Oh, no. Come on, Miss Magius. I believe in you. Okay. Do we survive? I don't think we survive. Ah, we don't survive and unfortunately not quite able to clutch it out. A very, very close game. All right, hopping in the next match here. Swampert into another Jellicent. So maybe this is the same Triple XL team that we saw in the last match. Boy, these uh, Triple XL teams seem to be a whole lot of fun to play against. <laughs> Again, going for a Shadow Ball, but this time farming up a bunch extra before going for the Earthquake. Earthquake lands, that does a nice amount of damage. And again, going for the Hydro Cannon, so he does like to play at the Jealous and lead the same way. I like this, this is recognizing that he's not going to be able to get to the Earthquake. Let's see if he does play it out differently, he does. So he chooses to play out the Zero Shield rather than buy for Switch, and comes in with Miss Magius to farm down and get a bit of an energy lead. We're hoping no Umbreon in the back. Please no Umbreon in the back. Stunfisk, okay, this feels doable. The, I mean, it's more XLs, which is not great, but no, Umbreon is huge, so very nice call there. Calling it? Oh, it's the Earthquake. That hurts. And now coming in with the Typhlosion, and it's the Alolan Ninetales in the back. Get absolutely flame-broiled, Alolan Ninetales. <laughs> Go back to Great League. <laughs> oh... It warms my heart to see an Alolan Ninetales just get absolutely bullied. Oh, absolutely beautiful stuff. Blast Burn. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. And just get to the back-to-back -back Blast Burns here, and you're in a really good spot because they only have the one shield. Back-to-back -back Blast Burns, and he does still have a Shadow Ball banked on his Miss Magius anyways. So this game is very, very over. <laughs> Blast Burn takes it out. So it looked like that, that they were running basically a line where they had a hard punish to fire and then two months weak to fire in the back, similar to Shrady's line, but they didn't end up safe swapping out. So they ended up getting swept in the back by a fire type. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you, as always, to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.